Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today's kind of like a cloudy day and that usually puts me in the mood to kind of do a little bit more of sketching. And I wanted to treat today's sketching session again as kind of like a one hour of just brain dumping, which is basically when I start to sketch without kind of like any plan and you basically sketch anything from your brain that you can think of that you potentially want to do, right? I kind of treat it as like, you know how people have their notes app on their phone and some people jot ideas in bullet point form? I kind of treat these doodles or these sketching session kind of like that where I have an idea but I haven't like fully fleshed it out so I'm just gonna jot it down really quick um so it could be something like you know something quick like this I think this was the entire hour so I don't consider technically it's super fast but it's quick enough for me to get the idea down where I will remember what exactly I kind of wanted to work with because this one in particular so we have a crescent moon we have Don Hearn like this and I had kind of like a little thing of water down here um became this illustration so, you know, it just kind of helps me keep a mental note of things or ideas that I want to do in the future. Um, I did attempt to do this, like, I think early last week because I've been kind of more in a sketching mood recently anyways. But my webcam was getting, like, closer and closer to my screen because I didn't notice that my camera arm was actually inching forward. So I decided to cut this one short and not continue. So I don't remember anything that I wanted to draw for that particular sketching session. So I'm going to use Maseki pretty much as kind of like my little placeholder for today. So I might use these ideas that I'm going to start sketching for other drawing pieces in the future. But I'm going to use Maseki as kind of just a placeholder character so that I can sketch somebody without needing to worry about uh, what they look like, what they're wearing per se, and I can just focus on what I want to sketch on. So let's just do screen size. I might check this. Yeah, so I'm going to quickly change this to be a warmer color. I'm going to be using the 6B pencil today. I'm going to use kind of a fairly dark, dark gray, almost black. And this is kind of what the 6B pencil looks like for people's reference. But it's really easy to sketch with and you can kind of get a good range of both really light and kind of finer lines and then kind of this thicker, more kind of blockier line also you can use the side of your pencil to do shading so i think it's just a very versatile brush so that is what we're going to be using today to sketch with so in terms of theme or plan there is none <laughs> so i'm just gonna sketch literally whatever i also have a timer on my phone like this i'll put a timer down here for your reference and you can go ahead and sketch along with me or use this as a background noise or use this for however you like but i'm gonna treat today as just an hour-long sketching session hopefully uninterrupted so let's go ahead and get started and i'm gonna start the timer right about now there we go so um i'm just gonna try my best to fill up the entire canvas if i can in the hour so yeah i do have like um usually pinterest boards and stuff kind of like made whenever I have like certain ideas for illustrations so I can kind of collect some references but because today's session's kind of unplanned I don't have much to go off of maybe if I do become too stumped on something I will end up just uh, looking some inspiration up on Pinterest or something like that also I was scratching here so don't mind my hand <laughs> mm. I want to see if I can find that photo maybe later, but I think it'd be kind of cool to do... Let me think, how can I do this? these would be hit their knees because it would be too go something like this because I do um, love seeing people carry around you know if those really translucent or transparent I guess they're more transparent if anything if you can see through them clearly umbrellas 
I remember seeing a photo on Pinterest. Now, hopefully I can find it because I think I know which photo it kind of stemmed from. That's kind of in my pin ideas. So if I can find it, uh, I'll try to link it or put it on screen so that you guys can also see what I'm trying to uh, remember what it looks like. It's kind of like, I think it's a, like a girl with long black hair and it's a clear umbrella and she's looking through the umbrella and I really like this angle because I think it could be fun if you section it off in a certain way. Um, I won't section off here, but like if you had the composition so that the clear umbrella covers like a heck of a lot of the composition and we could, what is it called? I want to add like uh, flower petals basically covering like a lot of the umbrella, but like still leaving a lot of the gaps so that you can tell that this is a transparent umbrella. And I think it could be fun to play around with. I also forgot to mention that for the one hour session, to kind of make sure that it's consistently just one hour long in terms of how I'm drawing, I am not going to be cutting any of this footage out, hopefully, <laughs> so that you guys can get a genuine one hour unedited sketching session with me. So you can kind of watch how long it actually takes to sketch certain things. I think I already forgot I was supposed to be drawing Masaki. It's okay. This still can be him. I'm gonna have to adjust the proportions quite a bit. Also, in terms of what song I'm listening to, because sometimes people ask, why do I have this cord in the video? It's because my headphones connect to my laptop and kind of like this corner. So it, it's usually visible because I like to listen to music uh, while I draw or if I'm listening to like podcasts or just long form videos or streams. That's usually what I like to do. But because I have to talk for today's video, I can only listen to music really or sit in silence. But song recommendation. I've been listening to Rocket Punches Alive. I really like the song a lot. It kind of gives me the vibe of some of the old K-pop uh, songs from older groups that I used to like really like during that time. Fun to do. How do you say that flower? Is it hyd hydrangeas? Hydrangea? Hydrangeas? It's like those really cute, almost pastel, pink, purple, bluish, or even like whitish green colored. They look like balls of flowers on bushes, but they're like cluster of tiny little flowers. They're so cute and pretty. I, I love the petals of them, so I might kind of like clump them together on the umbrella shape here. Another reason why I like doing like the start to finish videos or even like these videos where I'm kind of showing you guys more real time stuff is that I still get a lot of people thinking whenever I do a lot of my ASMR videos, if anything, is that I draw in half an hour, which is never ever the case. So I do apologize that I don't end up talking a heck of a lot whenever I do these videos. 
Because, like, in general, I tend to not talk a heck of a lot anyways. <laughs> figure how to shape this umbrella. Kind of do it like this. It's like generally what an umbrella looks like, right? <laughs> kind of. It's a little, little lopsided, but. At least it'll give me the general idea of what I want to do. Cause I think this would be super cute if I were to able to crop it in a certain way. I guess I'll just put him in his normal outfit. Also, I'm the type of person who listens to the same song over and over again, so I do apologize that if you're listening to the same song as me and I don't give another recommendation for a while, that's probably why. I might switch later, but for now, no. Oh, I guess? Let me shoot. Um, let's see, how can I plan this? I didn't really plan where the, the center of this umbrella would be, technically. It's gonna cut in front of his face. I Ideally, it would be angled this way, or like this way. But uh, I drawn it incorrectly, but I'm also not gonna change it because there's no need to. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna be crouching or not. Ideally, I would like him to be crouching. But I don't think I scrunched up his body correctly enough. It's okay. So let's make sure that our umbrella. It's a little bit more visible. But the thing I wanted to do, so let me shape in Masaki's hair. this one edge so that we can kind of make it look kind of more like it's transparent. This 
So I don't know if I should be able to, to shade this in a little bit. these darker to add like petals and stuff onto here. And flowers. Like I said, the like this is gonna be just a placeholder or like Masaki's the placeholder for this. So if I want to later draw let's say a VTuber or a Genshin fan art, anything that I think might fit this um, illustration theme a little bit better, then I definitely will. I feel like this is kind of a, a pretty idea if I can kind of, what is it called? Do the transparency of the umbrella correctly because ideally the umbrella would be kind of out of focus so that you can actually get the focus on Masaki's face and then we can have the cluster of flowers and stuff kind of just surrounding, kind of framing him whoever we're trying to draw. If you guys have song recommendations, do let me know. I'm definitely still very much uh, loving ballads and stuff, so that's been what I've mostly been listening to. Or just any kind of like slower song. It doesn't specifically have to be like actual ballads, but... cover the entirety of this so you could frame it a little bit better but I think this might be enough to give me an indication I would also I was kind of thinking whether or not I wanted to add any like actual washes to these so that we could get a better idea of like value and lighting but I don't know I mean, I already spent almost 15 minutes on this one, so... So, if you ever see me do these kinds of, like, uh, 6B pencil sketches, just know that it takes me a lot longer than an hour to fill up Yushia's spread. <laughs> would cover his legs too, so I might shade this all in. I 
think it might be nice to actually add a wash. So, let's see. I could use Old Beach. It's a little dark, so we might lighten it up. Even this is kind of cute. Kind of a cooler, cooler color. Do the inside of the umbrella. Kind of like that. I kind of like the the values like this. I definitely am spending a lot longer than I would have liked on this one, but that's okay. Break up my recording, that's okay. Maybe another time. <laughs> we could is that you alpha lock it and we can choose a different color. To the wash a little bit. Okay, let's move on to something else. Because like I said, I don't have like too many plans on what exactly I wanted to do. Mm. I always like the... whoopsies, wrong layer. Like Hanahaki disease. I feel like I've done this concept a lot. Another drawing that I did in my sketchbook that I actually really liked. Um, it's kind of like a person curled up more. He's drawing at those angles a little weird. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like my camera froze. <laughs> Like, I shouldn't be erasing too much. I should just jot down the ideas regardless. 
also forgot his mole. Which is why I shouldn't have gotten rid of that other one. Because I feel like I'm still sometimes too much thinking about uh, making things look uh, visually appealing. If that makes sense. Because of that, sometimes if I don't like something, I'm gonna get rid of it. But if I'm just trying to hear, like, trying to jot down ideas, there's not really a point to. that I kind of wanted to do. two in here. Thinking. When in doubt, draw peony lake flowers. Also, uh, kind of using the one hour sketching session kind of as like a starting point also kind of just helps in general. Because now I know it's not this is what I wanted to draw. <laughs> draw him in this kind of work outfit.
Because I draw Masaki with flowers so often, I feel like these concepts always fit him anyways. Half an hour left. So luckily, because I draw Masaki so often, it's kind of easier for me to shorthand him. Because this kind of resembles him. <laughs> Bo looks really... kind of... chicken scratchy. For his hair. Usually whenever I do these kinds of sketches though, I love adding uh, kind of like areas where they're a little bit darker so we can kind of have that contrast between uh, kind of my sketchy lines and then have some parts that are a little bit more clear. I even drew like a bunch of, I guess, more emotional Masakis in my sketchbook recently. I don't think I was in an emotional mood because I'm not the type that does like uh, vent art or anything like that. Is it called vent art? Uh, I usually don't. <laughs> just sometimes in a mood where I'm just drawing stuff that's just uh, more akin to what I drew kind of in my uni days, if anything. Especially during like printmaking. I drew things that were like omin like ominously dark feeling. I don't know if it's because the way I render uh, sometimes with the face and stuff, I, I put it in such a darkness that I might read a little bit moodier. <laughs> kind of like the idea of making uh, kind of like shards of glass or something here. little bit of shading. So I remember using kind of this grayish color. It was the old beach brush. Put it into shadow. this all into shadow just up until like the edge of his face Thank <laughs> you. 
like that, and then alpha lock. that back to this layer switching over back to the kind of the dark kind of really dark gray <laughs> we have about 25 minutes okay i'm trying to remember what was the other one that i really wanted to do i mean i feel like this one's very simple though because i've definitely done this one a few times I just want to draw something a bit moodier. <laughs> kind of a lopsided head, but it's okay. Always details I forget about Maseki. <laughs> so the thing is, I would like to have just a dark, maybe black turtleneck. side of here. none of these were the thing I wanted to draw for even today's drawing session. It's okay. If anything, I, I still really want to do this one. But like I said, I, I'll figure out who I would like to draw for that though. Because I could play around with the color palette quite a bit and I kind of like a lot of the color palettes from some of the Niji Sanji E N Livers. Because I've always wanted to do like a flower series. With them.
Okay, I'm gonna try my best to color in this turtleneck kind of dark because I would like to have the contrast between maybe lighter flowers kind of a darker turtleneck I wish I remembered what was the concept that I wanted to do in general. I think it was for a Maseki piece though, because that's why I was initially going to draw Maseki for one of these uh, one-hour sketching sessions anyways. I really don't remember. to make something very kind of very moody I don't remember which lighting is it is it Rococo lighting? is it Baroque? it's kind of like the dark moodier lighting you tell that I forgot like all of my history <laughs> I think it would be kind of fun to do something like that and even go a little bit more like uh, sepia toned for this but have like this weird kind of like old painting kind of feeling like oil painting we'll see so it could be something fun to do <laughs> I draw Masaki's bangs sometimes I draw his hairline so high Looks like he's balding. So I need to bring down his hairline a bit. Okay, so let's color this in. I would like to use a darker gray, but we're just gonna continue with this. Also, this gray looks blue, uh, just because my canvas is more of a warmer color, because this is actually a very neutral gray, or neutral as neutral you can get with the gray. <laughs> Which might feel a little weird. Rembrandt's triangle. Classic. put that same color though because I always like when people do kind of that um, that warm lighting next to the, the kind of darker cooler lighting and I know it's because just how the skin is also it's the transparency of it Actually, go through and check my Pinterest boards because I probably have something saved under maybe Masaki's. Nope. I have a lot of clothing saved. That's a that's another thing. Hmm. I mean, the other thing is I always like to do is just cover the person in foliage. <laughs>
train comes this angle. Looks it doesn't really look like Masaki. It's okay. So we have like 15 minutes left. I need to go do some housekeeping stuff too. Housekeeping? I guess like chores before the evening hits. never draw Maseki at this angle because I usually like uh I guess like his more defining features other than like where his hair hairline kind of starts it's mostly from the like the right side because he has his piercings usually his moles more visible on that side too so I'm hopefully gonna put one here and one last one up there I feel like today's brain dumping. I must have had too many thoughts that now I don't remember anything. <laughs> this is not good. So we can make this more autumn-esque. the neck. A little bit of wind. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's because how I draw the forehead every time. It makes it really look like he's he's bald up here. Because of his hairline looks like it's receding considerably. I think it's also because I draw the eyebrows so high up. So I make the hairline even higher. Also, I feel like this is like a bad thing I always end up doing. Picking up a new hobby just because like I have, like I dive way too into something. Either because I watch videos or actually it's just mostly because I watch videos. <laughs> I've been thinking I want to pick up knitting again. I haven't knit since like elementary because like back when I was in like a small town, we actually had like a knitting club. Uh, starting I think in like third grade and I was in there until like I think third to fourth grade and we did like a few knitting projects with uh, one of the teaching assistants which happens to be like my friend's aunt but I loved spending time with her and she would just teach us knitting projects and stuff and I'm like thinking I might want to pick up knitting just because I've been seeing so many cute cardigans and sweaters but they're very like plain and basic one color very simple there's no like cable knitting or anything on it it just seems like a knit pattern but i don't want to keep spending money on buying cardigans and sweaters and stuff and i'm thinking i just buy the needles or like a pair like a needle like uh, what am i saying i think you need like two sets of needles one like larger one and like one that's a little bit smaller so you can do like the ribbing So that you can do like the cuffs or like the collar and stuff and i was watching so many videos until like 4 a.m until the morning because i was like i think i can pick up knitting again and then i kind of want to make myself like uh, a loose sweater because i have one that i really really love currently 
but the place where I bought it no longer sells it, but it's like my favorite. It's like the perfect oversized uh, sweater that I have. It's like my favorite color, or not my favorite color. It's a color perfect for autumn. It's kind of like a like a camel sandyish color. And I really like it, but I don't know. I, I kind of would like to learn it and then maybe I can just knit my own like sweaters and stuff instead of paying money to pay for outrageous shipping. I don't know. I might be too overconfident with my my skill in knitting because it was very fun when I did it when I was younger and I feel like I can pick it up again. I don't know. If I do and it turns out okay, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I have it in my cart right now for Amazon or like I might go into like a, a store to buy the needles and supplies but Every time I have like anything that's low-key impulsive, because literally I only thought about this for like a day and already put them in my cart, uh, I do need to sit on it because I don't want to impulsively buy stuff. So I usually let it sit in my cart for like a few weeks or so and see if I actually still want to do it. So we'll see if I end up doing that. Because usually I do it for like a few rounds and then I'll stop for like several months and then I'll pick it back up. It's the same for like clay figures and stuff. Like I got into clay making. So this is supposed to be Maseki but I haven't finished painting him. And here's his, here's his head. It's the same for like needle felting. It's the same for embroidery and stuff. Like I'll pick them up, go really into them and then stop. <laughs> and then I'll pick it up like months later. Which I don't think is a bad thing. But I don't know if you would consider them hobbies since I don't do them frequently enough, maybe. Not anymore. I haven't finished my like Tinari needle faulting project either. Oh well. <laughs> Drawing is like the only thing I'll ever be consistent with. Because even painting has now ceased for now. This isn't really necessary for every piece. I just think it looks cute <laughs> at this point. Okay, we have seven minutes to do kind of one last drawing. Hmm. I could fit one here. facing upwards. I feel like maybe because I am drawing Maseki, I am tailoring the theme to Maseki rather than keeping them a little bit generic. So maybe next time maybe I'll just draw like a generic person for each of the, the things that I want to draw.
five minutes basically left or six minutes I'm just gonna make sure that his mouth is visible but I think I'm just gonna cover it kind of like that can you tell that I'm rusty drawing plants that this is so dark he looks like he's eating them draw Masaki from the side often. I feel like I always change the way his his hair is styled from this angle. Yeah, next time I'll just draw a generic person because that or have a person in mind that I want to draw because this is definitely my brain dump is very much uh, tailored to Masaki, which I shouldn't be too surprised that this is going to happen considering the fact that I also draw him the most. So like he fits my criteria of what I like to draw anyways. <laughs> Doesn't look like the correct hand. <laughs> minutes anyways I can just fuss with the hand a little bit so let's not give him monstrous looking hand lighting this way which I kind of like because I don't draw this lighting a lot where the face is mostly in shadow we can have very bright rim lighting this way rather than the other way because I feel like the other way is very predictable for me <laughs> put these all into the darkness here Maybe we can have this 
some light kind of breaking in. Then I will alpha lock, add in a pointless worm lighting here. <laughs> I feel like this one makes the most sense technically. That's okay. I think that's it. We have 30 seconds to, to stop, I guess. Or not to stop, until we have to stop. But I think I'm just gonna call it here. I'm gonna leave the timer on for you guys um, for the next 20 seconds or so. I think that's it for today's kind of sketching session. I do think I kind of where it was able to kind of flesh them out a little bit more compared to the Don Hung one, where I felt a little bit too lost, if anything. Five, four, three, two, one. But uh, here's kind of what we have for the, the drawings for today. So we have the Umbrella Maseki. This one I didn't darken enough, I think, but I also wanted to keep it lighter around his face anyways. And I think I would like to do something for maybe a VTuber, like Niji Sanji-ish related for this one. Um, everything else I think is more tailored to Maseki. This one could be, I mean like, technically any of them could be for anybody, but uh, I am gravitating towards wanting to draw my OCs a little bit more. So I could do Maseki probably for just like all of these. So you have this one, which I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. Oh, I guess it wasn't similar at all. I have a Maseki right here. This one. This is anxiety, stress, and pain. He's kind of more curled up, uh, like that. Cause I don't know, can you tell what mood I was in? <laughs> like I said, I don't really do like vent art or anything. For some reason I was in this mood of just drawing Maseki in different, almost like pained expressions, if anything. Uh, yeah, I swear I don't- yeah, he's happier here, so it's okay. Um, yeah, but I think that's it for today's session. We'll do a quick time lapse, but I'll give you guys a quick look at all of these kind of more close up first. Do we want to this one? Which I, I feel like this is very standard of me anyways. This one is very much standard for me too, but I don't think I've successfully drawn something like this to my liking so i would like to revisit this um i'll show you guys an example of something that i always attempt to do but i never plan it out properly so i'll show you guys in a bit um and then this one which i think could be fun to do if i did it more airy with moodier lighting could be very pretty so let me show you guys what i mean about this one and then i'll show you guys the time lapse and i think that'll be it for the video so right here we have this one there so we have this one of Don Hung. Now, I don't really like this one anymore, which is why I've uh, stopped working on it. But not only that, I can't tell which finger is in the front and which one's in the back. So yeah, there's a lot of issues with this. Actually, how many fingers do we have here? One, two. What do I feel that like we have five? One, two, three, four, five. Five? Five fingers instead of... Unless I'm reading this incorrectly. Maybe this isn't a finger. Okay, whatever. Um... Yeah, I keep doing the foliage in such a weird way. He literally looks like he's in a bush rather than like foliage being around him properly. So I would like to either redo that one or attempt it with this one of Maseki. Um, Cause I think this one will be a little bit cuter uh, to do and more peaceful. But yeah, I, there, a lot of these I would like to do eventually. I think it's also because I want to draw more foliage and I'm trying to think. That one also reminds me of the one that I did of Alban. Where is Alban's? Into here. And I really like this one still. So I did do the foliage in a very similar way to this, but this one makes more sense, if anything. This one looks really cute. And it makes sense because it looks like he's against um, like a wall where there's foliage on top. So like setting-wise, it makes sense. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll do a quick time lapse and then i'll do a clearer time lapse at the very end and i'll put like screenshots and stuff so you guys can see the actual illustrations more clearly instead of just via my ipad but yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's kind of like one hour session of me just scribbling i do think that i was in a more like brain dumping mood earlier no 
earlier last week and the week before that but i think all the stuff that i wanted to draw at the time kind of escaped my brain so I, i'm sorry today's uh session was a little bit more um thinking on the spot rather than scribbling out ideas in a like almost a visual vomit way but i actually do like today's sketches though i think they're kind of fun uh so yeah if you guys see any of these as a future illustration in the future uh just know that it came from here rather than uh me meticulously planning for something i guess maybe this one i'll try to find the reference for this one hopefully i remember and i can put that into the video as well this one's based i think off an iu uh kind of uh pictorial or something magazine shoot so i'll put those into the video when i can and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's session and i'll talk to you guys next time in the next video bye